Hey guys, Anthony Roberts here with AR Creates. Got a brand new tutorial for you guys. Gonna be doing what I call liquid text. We're gonna be uh, messing with the liquify tool in Photoshop. It's a really cool effect. It's not something I personally came up with on my own. A couple of the designers on Instagram that I follow, I saw doing it. And so I sort of talked to them, kind of figured it out. But anyway, uh, figured out a couple ways to make it easy. It's a really cool effect. It's really not that hard to do. So um, if you want to follow along, I encourage you, send me what you do. I love seeing what you guys send me. Um, I love hearing about how these tutorials help you. But before we get into that, I just want to remind you, um, I got these brand new Kingdom Minded shirts that I designed in stock on my website. So go pick one up. All the profits from these shirts, I'm donating to She's for Christ. If you don't know what She's for Christ is, it's a very good mission. Um, it's put on by the United Pentecostal Church International Youth Ministries. Um, it goes to help foreign missionaries. It goes to help local missionaries. It goes to help youth camps. It does a lot of stuff. But um, go pick up one of these shirts. They're very high quality. They're Gildan Hammer shirts. Um, had a local guy here print them, so you're helping support local businesses as well. But go to anthonydesigned.com. Click on Shop buy one of these shirts, I'll ship it to you. And if you order it off the website, I'll throw in a whole bunch of stickers and some stuff for free. So anyway, let's get into the computer and start this tutorial. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and open up Photoshop here and we'll get started on this tutorial. It'll be a lot of fun. I enjoy this one a lot. It's a cool effect. Lots of uses for it and do a lot of really cool stuff with it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and start with a um, Instagram portrait size, 1080 wide, 1350 tall. It's totally up to you, whatever you're working on. Now, before we do anything, I will tell you it's much easier to do this effect if you just start with black text on a white background. Go ahead and get the effect first. We'll worry about colors later. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier to read when you're starting out here. So... Um, go ahead. I'm just going to type whatever words you want. I'm going to use liquid. Change it to black. And then the key here to really make it um, work well is find a good font. Uh, I like Gotham, Helvetica. Find you a good sans serif bold font. Um, I personally like something. Uh, um, Babis is good. Um, let's see, there's probably a couple other ones out here. Liquid Gothic would work. Let's try this one. This one will look good. I'm gonna, this is uh, League Gothic. So there's a couple different ones you can do. Um, and I'm going to be calling out hotkeys. I'm using my desktop right now, so I'll be saying like Control C or whatever. But if you're on a Mac, it's Command. Um, I may even say Command because I swap back and forth between Mac and PC on a pretty regular basis. Um, so sometimes I get my hotkeys mixed up. But I encourage you, um, learn your hotkeys. makes things go by really quick. All right, so liquid is this. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and control J and duplicate that. And then right click and hit rasterize type. Now, we want to rasterize it so that we can use, so that we can modify it um, as an image and not as a font. Um, so at this point, when you rasterize it, you want to go ahead and have your font picked out and everything because um, I can't I can't click back on this and change the text or anything. Okay, once it's been rasterized, it's done. So um, rasterize your text, select your layer, hit Control J again. So now it's on top of it. Now we have two of them. So take the bottom one over here on your layers, and I'm going to move it down just to about where it touches you don't really have to make it exact but just about where it touches um, the, the bottom of the font there okay so then what you're gonna do is click on that hold down shift so that you can free transform and just drag this all the way down like this okay so as you can see here this is already you can already see where this is going this is starting to drip thing alright so now here's where the fun starts you want to go up to filter click on liquify open up your liquify tool now over here you'll see all these brush tool options uh, the size you know you can make it really really big um, how much pressure 
uh, the density and the rate. So normally what I start out as is a brush size on this one of about 30 or so. You can see my circle is um, fairly small there. Um, pressure, I'll leave it at about, let's, let's do about 75% on that one. And I leave everything else the same, leave it all as default settings. And now what you want to do is you want to hold it down and basically just come across like this, okay? So you can see how the liquid stuff is starting to take place, all right? So then what you want to do is I get an even smaller brush, change the density to about 25, and then put the pressure on about 50. You can do it however you want. There's really no right or wrong way on this. It's just you're going to achieve a different effect. So this one is obviously not going to change it as drastic, but it's going to add some more little ridges in there. Um, I did a whole lot real quick. You got to let it, it takes, a, takes some processing. You got to kind of let it um, do what it's going to do there. And then once that finishes, hopefully I didn't lock it up doing that. All right, you hit OK. And this is what you're left with. All right, now here's where we actually kind of touch this up and make it look good. You want to make a layer mask. And then what I want to do is make sure your uh, the liquefied layer is on the bottom. What I'm going to do is right click or uh, double click, I'm sorry, and color overlay. And I'm just going to change it to something. It doesn't really matter what it is, just so I can see the difference. Preferably something bright. All right, and so now that we got a layer mask on there, if you zoom in, what we want to do is kind of take out these that don't really match up with the letters. Um, all these in here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, make sure we're on our layer mask there. And I just kind of erase these so it really looks like it's dripping off the bottom of the text. So take out some of these here. Just kind of, you know, you can just kind of shape it around. Let's add that back. I kind of like it coming off the U right there like that. All right. Again, I'm doing this with a layer mask. I know I say it all the time on we'll probably every video, but... Use your layer mask instead of the eraser tool because you can go back, like I messed up right there, I can go back and add it in. It's non-destructive. Get used to selecting layer mask on everything. All right. So now, if we see there's anything else that needs to be fixed, scroll down. So this is really uneven down here. We got one long one. So what I'm going to do, select my layer mask again. And on my brush, I'm going to use a really, really soft brush. And so kind of just sort of fades it out kind of right there. It doesn't really have to be even. I'll show you why in just a second. All right. And then just really look for anything that looks way out of the ordinary. You can kind of fix it. All right. So uh, we're going to zoom back out. See what we got here. All right. And I'm going to remove my color overlay. So now you can see it kind of dripping here. And if you want to really make this now, you can also, if it's too far, um, you can kind of, you know, bring it up like that. Now, if you really wanted to um, do something, you could take your liquid word here. And what we're going to do is kind of flip it so it looks like a reflection. Oops, I always do that backwards. Just flip vertical. All right. And same thing, you just want to kind of match it up where it hits the bottom here. And then we're going to go back into our layer mask. And let's try to shape that up to where it just matches um, the bottom of the letters there. I'm going to have to use a smaller brush. Just want it to kind of look like it's coming into the letters. Get some of these off the edges here. All right. And now, the one that we have at the bottom, if you'll turn a layer mask on there, what you can do is we can kind of shape this, take off some of that where um, it's not such a hard edge. So it really does look like it's dripping into it. OK, 
kind of shape it up there um, like over here on this inverted eye kind of make an angle there we'll have to switch to the other layer mask um, this is really just personal preference but I like this it just kind of makes the letters um, just looks a little bit better it's not as harsh so it really looks like it's dripping into it the way you shape it up alright so once we have that what you want to do is select all three layers hit control J and then group them go ahead and group those letters to, um, together call it whatever you want and then hide everything else that we've already done turn everything else off okay so now we can merge this group and now we have everything together okay so we have this whole thing here all right so I'm just gonna put it in the center now here comes the fun part is this is some really cool stuff you can do right here now I already have some gradients but if you didn't have a gradient what you can do is go to layer new adjustment layer and add a gradient map okay and then over here we would select our colors you could get really wild with it um, kind of whatever you wanted and then if we create a clipping mask actually let's not do it that way let me show you an easier way always easier way create a new layer control shift in and find your gradient tool just drag it top to bottom like that uh, except we want to change it let's do the rainbow one because it'll look really crazy like that and then create a clipping mask and so now it's clipped to that um, if you wanted to change it up a little bit you could go to blur use the Gaussian blur and um, it'll fade into itself a little better kind of like that all right now the cool thing is is we can take that one and that one control J again control G for a group hide those merge that group and see what I'm doing the reason I'm doing all these different groups and stuff is so that if I decide I don't like this this is not permanent I can go back and change something so let's say I didn't like that gradient well I just turn this back on and then I go change my gradient back up okay um, but for now let's use that now this is kind of cool but we need a good background so what I would do is I would use a really dark gray or a black kind of to start with and then of course you know I love layers and textures so let's go to let's see what kind of textures I got that we could put in this let's see I'm thinking something really um, need something kind of grungy looking oh actually let's try this plastic wrap let's see what this looks like all right so let's stretch this over all right and then we want to change this to screen like that and then to tone it down just a little bit where it's readable just my opac opacity opacity feel whichever one you want to do and there you have it now you have a liquid drip text super easy to do um, go try it out send it to me uh, I'd love to see what you created out of this a lot of cool options a lot of cool things you can do to it so anyway thank you guys um, Anthony Roberts with AR creates go visit anthonydesigned.com go buy a t-shirt I'll send it to you with along with some free stickers anyway talk to you guys later